Summers in swing, and you need to get some row back. Whether you're getting a quarter zip, if you're getting a polo, if you're getting a hoodie, if you're getting yourself a lid, some trousers. You want to feel cool. You want to feel fresh. You want to feel athletic. Gym shorts, joggers, everyday shorts. All of this is available to you and should be taken advantage of with code YAK at Roback.com. 20% off your first order by the end of this week. R-H-O-B-A-C-K. 20% off polos, hoodie, whatever you want, whatever you can imagine. They've got it over at Roback. Use code YAK. We're joined by Francis today. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Here we go. You know what, Nick? Go oh, fuck yourself. Didn't fuck. Anything yet. Go oh, fuck didn't yourself. Say it didn't take you 25 minutes to tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Why don't oh, you go fucking <laughs> take your dick and wrap it around your taint uh, into your own butthole? Here comes the human thesaurus. And what else? Fuck you yourself. <laughs> take the head and stick it up your own ass and then sit on it a bunch. Uh, I, I like that. this rivalry. Uh, yeah, this is good. Go oh, fuck good your. S- find a way. <laughs> Figure it out. Unscrew your own penis like the leg of a chair and jam it up your own ass. Yeah, yeah. What would it mean? What like when you when someone says go fuck yourself and you take it literally, how do you picture that? What is the way to do that? I always thought of it as jerking off. Isn't that kind of fuck? People say that, but that's only a first base fucking of oneself. You know, sec- first base is over the pants to yourself. K- KB's going to know. God, look at his arms. And his chest. <laughs> Getting fucking uh, huge. Insane. Look at those arms. And that, it's bro. it's suspicious. It's not Natty. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. come on. I saw a video of him I'll on Natty or not. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw Jeff Nippers. Yeah. Yeah, he's the goal. He's the dream. You want to be on that? He's the KB, they said coming soon. KB, no swag from Barstool Sports. Natty or not. And that's a not. That's a compliment if you make that. I said that's what I wanted. But Unless nah, you get outed as legs being not natty. Calves. Francis, being a D1 athlete, were you ever tempted by steroids? Uh, no. No. Did anybody ever do it? Uh, I don't think in my sport. Uh, there wouldn't have been a whole lot of benefit to it, I don't think. I think some of the football guys probably did. I think Dude, there was there kids in my high school doing steroids for football. Yeah. Which is insane. We had a, we had a strength and conditioning coach who was actually, I think he went, he left the school and then he went, to, he got hired to be the head strength and conditioning coach. I think at the University of South Carolina, he was a very early um, Under Armour guy. Like his roommates in college started Under Armour. I shouldn't even be dropping that name. But um, anyway, he was in like a bunch of ads <laughs> for Under Armour. What was his social security number? Yeah. No, but I, I, I don't think I'm not saying I should be not dropping his name. I'm saying because they're a competitor to our much Uh-oh. superior rowback. But uh, he, Coach Fitz. And he was in an Under Armour ad, and he uh, famously had a saying, the football team, like someone asked him, like, hey, Coach Fitz, what do you think about steroids? And he goes, you want to know what the side effects of steroids are? Bigger, stronger, faster. (laughs) That's the side effect. That's the side effect. (laughs) That is true. Yeah. Those are the ones that no one talks about. They work. Yeah, no one talks about the good ones. Oh. The desire to do more work. Yeah, I guess side effects can be good. You'll just push yourself hard as fuck. It's the, um, I guess, the what it does to your face and head. Back knee. Yeah. That too. And it's very unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, why? It ages you so... I don't know. Maybe it isn't. It's got to be bad for your heart. It's definitely bad for you. And people are dying. Heart. People are doing such ridiculous doses, though. That dude just died. That uh, What, what was his name? I saw that. I don't know yeah. his name. Okay, but oh, he's big in the he body. He's huge. We think of we think of that. We think of a guy in the like gym. 30. These people who can't even they can't even put their hands to their sides yeah. flush because that laughing. guy wasn't even like that. He was just super ripped. But I think if you are an NFL player and you cycle on and you cycle off, like a rough and rowdy fighter, and like, there's some kind of actual or Burt Kreischer. Are these guys. Able to um, cycle off, like psych- psychologically, like in the NFL, happen? don't they have to because of drug? Maybe testing? in the NFL, but I think other people wouldn't. As soon as they get off, it wouldn't they be like craving more? Probably, you start shrinking. 
That, do you see the Gordon? Um, he's a grappler. His before and after, and then post after. Mm -mm. I don't think I saw that grappler's before and after picture. No. <laughs> Gordon Ryan. Is it good? Gordon Ramsay. It's insane when he what happened to him when he got off of it. He got nasty or titty or what? Just his balls. A lot, a lot different. Tell us. That should be a warning. Shrunk. He shriveled. Really? I mean, the, dude, the, the pace that those people, that big dudes lose weight like that, like strong guys when they yeah. start. Like, dude, Taylor. I think he still okay. looks pretty but, good. But can we... Right, his second on one, he doesn't look bad, but look, oh, at the, look at the difference. Yeah, yeah, but like, look at the face he's doing. He put on fucking glasses. Keep, keep this up. Oh, right. I have a bone to pick with these types of pictures. And here's the deal. In that picture on the left, you know that guy did a fucking ridiculous workout right before that picture was taken probably hasn't had water all day and is flexing whenever they do the next picture he's doing this to accentuate the difference and obviously there's a difference but that picture on the right he's probably eating some fucking pizzas he didn't shave his stomach he didn't shave his chest he didn't work out and he's True. glasses on but, to look like a fucking beard's undercover longer, version of himself. Cape, Maybe. Well, he posted this, and then everyone like started making fun of it. Then he got pissed, and like that body on the right did is still a good body. He looked, so good. Yeah, if he were flexing in that picture on the right, if he were flexing and he had shaved himself and he'd worked out, I wonder how different he'd actually look. Do you know what I mean? I think that's very fair. I could post today. A before and after photo. Yeah, yeah. Of my w transformation. In one picture, I'm flexing, and in the other, I'm I've just eaten a ton of pie, and I'm not flexing, and I'm ooh, sad boy. Yeah, he, the face he's making. And everyone's gonna be like, "Holy shit, man! You really lost a ton of weight. You look so much better. It's like the same fucking day." <laughs> you should do it. I bet you I could do yeah. that. Yeah, and also, should. this guy, he doesn't the physique doesn't. I guess it doesn't matter as much because he's one of the best ever at his sport or the best ever. Yeah, well, you're what? allowed to do steroids. Who was, who was whatever it? he does. Who was that guy? That's the jujitsu guy, Gordon right? Ryan. Oh, yeah. What's the uh, what NFL players have gotten popped for steroids recently? I know Lane Johnson got popped like a couple years ago, and he's still like the best tackle in football. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins. Who was the dude in the NFL that wore that didn't wear sleeves one day, and they and they brought him in for a random uh, drug test? I think that like whenever a player a does, has like it. a good workout, they're just like, yeah. yep, got the drug test. He had a tweet about it that was very funny. Yeah, I think his arms are fucking bit the size of his legs. Was it Christian McCaffrey? No. I, I think know. it'd be fun to try steroids and see what, at this point in my life, what it would do for me. Just all of a sudden, I'm dominating the pickleball court. I mean, what is it? Yeah, this guy. Miles Garrett. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Arms are fucking massive, dude. Mm. I could see him having done steroids too. Have you seen the picture of him at the ESPYS and he's wearing like the full suit, but hit, you can like see his biceps through the suit? I think that's like a special type of suit that those it's guys wear. Be. That's not a normal like you go. You went to fucking men's warehouse and bought a suit. Yeah, those things are like painted on. Yeah, they're thin as fuck. The suits that the Rock wears. Those what aren't just always that? They're just not a normal suit. I always said that John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, not, that's not like a normal fabric suit. That's a skim <laughs> by Kim Kardashian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the suit but is made of latex. Some of these dudes do have like 30 inch arms. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where do you put a fucking 30 inch arm? I don't know. That guy would have to wear Clemmer's pants on his like sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it would even fit. No, I think those guys' arms are bigger than most of our legs. Yeah, easily. I wore pants today because I was tired of my legs being on camera like that. Yeah. Did you see how leggy our show was yesterday? That's what I mean. I yeah. got a little bit too. It's, you could it it hikes up with this. Angle. It hikes. It's the chair. It's the way that these chairs are. Yeah, it's, we need Eames. Mm. Did you guys see that dude speed run his N word apology? Yeah. Oh, how fast did, did he do, he do it? it? Instantaneous. Ten seconds yeah. <laughs> after he said it. Yeah. He wrapped it like mince. Wait, did Fuzi <laughs> almost like it was scripted? And then it was a knee jerk reaction. He started like beating up his bed, and then he he had a whole apology. It was really funny. What is uh? What in what context did he say the N word? Rapping. I thought that he just Rapping. came back. He did. 
I thought that he was like he, he did, he's he, doing like a marathon like stream right now like a subathon and he yeah he said but he like ran out of money he w- had like made like thirty million dollars like ran yeah. out of money came back called his dad his dad said he loved him for the first time and then he immediately said the n word he's hit the highest of highs and lowest of lows on the uh, content grind he's he's, he's been like, around for forever. fucking he's twenty years now. vortex yeah he's He'll also be- got fat and then ripped like. Every he's on hundred times. Time. That, he's an example of a steroid user. Yeah, he was in that video where the guy was getting like tapped in the chest, and then it's just he's like jacked getting tapped. Oh in the chest. yeah. That well, the that. best the best Fousey that I, I feel like a lot of he, that kind of it was, was a while ago, but it was when he was clearly having a manic episode, and he was like, "I'm gonna be." He was like, "Jay Cole's performing at the Staples Center next week. I will be on stage performing with him." <laughs> he had like no plan, but he was like convinced that he was gonna be like performing Manifesting like it. a duet with Jay Cole. <laughs> He was like, it was like, and he, TJ, he hosted like a whole festival, didn't he? Yeah, but I don't think that many people actually showed up. That might be. Oh, it was like a massive. It was like Firefest. Yeah. As soon as you start doing subathons, it's over. What is a subathon? A subathon is You're you start streaming, deep. and then every subscription you get or whatever the payment is, you stream for longer. So if you said I'm going to stream for eight hours, but if for every sub I get, I'm going to add five minutes. Man, I feel like and we've you done could go that. up to you could go up to a month. Mm-hmm. You know, people have gone. How long did he? How long was he live for? I think he's been live for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I think we could hop it's in. It's very, very like cheat codey to like break yeah. algorithms. Though, like you grow in like crazy if it catches on. Hmm. All right, let's quit beating around the bush here and let's pull up that video of the cop. I got a cop going down the slide. <laughs> I didn't see yeah. it. That spit <laughs> him out. <laughs> let's get this okay. on the screen what ASAP. The hell? My God, what was that. in that slide? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the funniest videos to come out on the internet in a while. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! How old is that? What? What is that made of? Dude, the noise leading up to him coming out is insane. That's a wormhole. Uh, it's insane. That's like an old air conditioner. I don't know. How How does that happen? How did he get that much velocity? I don't know. Why is he upside down? I don't know. I don't know. It dude. looks like when... Run it again. Cheap TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> he died in there. <laughs> Was he pulling his gun out as he went down? I think trying, he was. Trying to defend I himself he against was. the slide? <laughs> yeah. What if he opened fuck? fire on that slide, it would have been unreal. <laughs> yeah, just, it would have been the funniest video of all time. That's like the Joker getting... Did <laughs> nobody else test that? Yeah. I don't know. Is he the first? Did he do the ribbon cutting at the top? Must have oh, been someone, the case. Someone, I saw someone else posted a video going down the slide, and they came out just going like slow as hell. Even if it had like, <laughs> Dude, I don't know Boston, that's gone. in Boston. How little yeah. is we that gotta, man? We gotta go to that yeah. slide. That's a yeah. that man. I think he's pretty little. He's I think gotta be right. That's Dude. a little man. Because other, how did he not fall out of the side? I don't know how he was. Even going if it was the fast. slickest slide in the world, he had to get a running start. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but the <laughs> angles don't make sense. He that shot is clip. Like that. Yeah, I think it's a magazine. <laughs> so yo, we need someone in Boston to go to that slide right now. All right in now, FaceTime right this in. second. Yeah, we need. Yeah, I'm sure it's. Pa- I'm sure there's a hundred people there right now. So weird fact is that this is Ryan Whitney's video, but he what? had to take it down. He was asked what? by several people. To, he tweeted about it yesterday. Ryan Whitney was I saw that tweet. What? Oh, so I know that's what it was. Film that? I don't it's know. It's clearly a girl filming it. I don't know so about that. To wit. Damn, that does look like an oh, oil pipeline. It is pipeline. a long slide. Big slide. It's steep too. Big slide. Oh, whoa. But he was getting. I mean, there must have been someone else in the slide that like flipped him over wow, and that, like, that's started fucking new with shit them. out of MIT. Like, <laughs> yeah, they were, they were making that for years in a laboratory. That's teleportation. <laughs> Can we watch it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> I just got to hear the noise it's when some, he's in like, the slide. Some like cartoon sound effects. The noise when he's in the slide is insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It sounds like oh shoes god. in the dryer. <laughs> You hear ten clangs before he comes down. <laughs> it's ten distinct clangs. <laughs> I think he says something when he gets up too. He's like, "What the fuck?" He looks up at the slide. Like, yeah, he's mad at it. I would be pissed. Yeah, yeah. he'd have been in severe pain. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like a cocktail. <laughs> yeah, dude. He just got fucking scrambled, <laughs> ran through. Oh, the next person he pulls over. Oh, they're oh, done. Yeah, he probably immediately arrested someone. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I had to get an arrest off after that. 
when was the last time you guys went on a uh, a water slide? And I'm not talking at a water park, but you know, just one that was somewhat available somewhere. It's been a while. Some time. I don't know. Last time I was in water. Uh, yeah. Oh, I go in water all the time, but not yeah, a water slide. I just don't have access to slides like that. I was on one not too long ago, and a, a kid, a ten year old kid, went off before me, and he was excited. It was you could tell he'd done it a lot of times. And then I went off after him, and there was no lifeguard telling us now wait, now go. Yeah. And so I tried to catch the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I went on my elbows. Oh yeah, that was the heels. best. That's that was the only to... elbows and heels were the only parts of my body touching the slide. That's insane. TJ, I not hurt a lot. Still beat me, but um, I wanted to hit him. I wanted to hurt him. Yeah. TJ Twitter account Eric E R I Oh no E R C underscore J O I O Yeah, did the perspective. Oh. All right. <gasps> it's that last turn. It's that last turn. That's yeah, right. Lot. That was a fucking simple right-hand turn. Yeah, oh, that was on. a simple I'll, slide. Bigger. Go bigger on that one. I think we can watch that again. That'll explain it. Yeah. Well, I think he went in head Did first. He slide in was a mistake. He must have gone in head first. <laughs> no, because he came out. No, feet first. Yeah. Oh, no, he came out feet first? Yeah. His last turn kicks you way left. Yeah, yeah. That's what kicked him over. Well, it must have flipped. Like him that around. guy, he stopped right at the bottom of the slide. The cop. Yeah. It's like 15 feet the away before flew. he touched the ground. Well, that guy was also in shorts. Yeah. Maybe some skin to slide contacts. Yeah. Like he must have gotten a head start. The cop was in a Sean John velour. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how he. He was wearing those. linoleum. <laughs> <laughs> that kid looks bored. I know. Yeah. What happened to that cop? <laughs> He is, he is in hell right now. You know, he has to bludgeon someone. What Was it like this? It had to have been what the uniform was made of. Do you think that he got stuck oh, in dude. there and they sent someone else down to jar him out? And Maybe, like yeah. Another cop went down, knocked into him, and knocked him out the bottom? The only thing I can think of is there was like 15 dudes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, he comes off the side. What if he fell out? I'm saying, under that yellow fucking bib, he's wearing one of those Real Housewives of Memphis. <laughs> Satin pregnancy suit. Yeah, the juicy suit. Yeah. That says, like, booty on the on the bottom. Yeah. Have you guys seen the video of the woman on the water slide, and she just tries to, like, dive? She just, like, pinches her nose. She's, like, on a cruise ship or something and just, like, dives off. But she, like, dives like she's going to go into water, and she just smacks into the water slide. Ooh, no. That oh, sounds no. terrible, though. That sounds this. good. That sounds I need to good. find this. It's extremely funny. Mm. Extremely embarrassing for that lady. Second angle. There's a second angle out there somewhere. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did his feet go over like that? I don't know. He straddled it on the way down. What the fuck? <sighs> it's genuine. It's fascinating. I know. It starts funny, and then I start to be like every watch confused. It, yeah, come. That's uh, is that Boston PD? Yeah. We got an ID on him. Yeah, well, you got to get him on the show, though. Yeah. That would be huge. Boston PD, did you guys watch the uh, marathon bombing documentary? No. Oh, no, is it good? It's really good. It's really good. Um, Anything new? I feel like I've seen so many shows and movies about it already. Uh, I think just one thing that was interesting was hearing how these Boston police guys... First of all, they have the thickest Boston accents you've ever heard. And to hear them talking about how they're throwing bombs out of the car in Somerville. Yeah. Was nuts. Yeah. Um, throwing bombs out of the car? Yeah. That standoff that they had At in the Somerville? Yeah. Before the boat. Mm. Before one of them escapes. And then he gets back in the car and these guys just have bombs over. like that, like it was a fucking yeah, they video had, game. They had yeah. uh, another, I you know, bomb the pressure cooker. One? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they threw it, and it it was a, a bomb off. Yeah, in the street, not the police. The police didn't have bombs in the street. They had a, one more bomb that they hadn't detonated, uh, and they threw that oh, at the, the cops, and it made oh. a massive explosion. Wow. Where was where was the boat? It was in like Watertown, right? Yeah, like Watertown. Not somewhere yeah. else. I had to get a. I had to get a. When I was, I forget how old I was. It was probably in like sixth grade when that happened. But the I had to get an ADD test. 
It was right. It was in Watertown, the place that I went to. On that day? No, but me and my mom drove by the house, and you could see, like, the bullet holes in the fence. Yeah, and you it was cool. brought that kid some water. Yeah. <laughs> Slipped it in. Yeah. Help, help him. Yeah. Need to help this boy. No, it was like it was like a couple Hear months after it happened. Gave him your chewy bar and your goldfish yeah. you brought for the test. Got him to sign that copy of Rolling Stone that he was on the cover of. <laughs> that was a crazy move. Yeah. They did put him there. Yeah. Is he alive in jail now? Yeah. He got the uh, death penalty. Is he alive? He got the, he's, he's he's got on the, the death, death penalty for yeah. years. He was like, yeah, you get to on death row for years. He was in like critical condition for a very long time, right? He was breathing through tubes and shit. Oh, maybe he is dead. Boston Loki loves that tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, my line? That Ortiz speech. That was These awesome. These are fucking city, sick. man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Okay, I got one more documentary that's really amazing. I wrote a blog about it yesterday. It's called The Deepest Breath. Hmm. Have you seen this? Oh, I've heard of it, I feel like. What's it about? It's about uh, free divers. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, horrifying to me. I, I challenge you to watch the first two minutes of this documentary and not find yourself involuntarily holding your breath yeah. gasping yeah no uh, i hate i've seen that. clips i hate diving gasping I for, i'd watch that that's like cave good. diving or just like oh they're just going way the fuck down oh, on one francis, breath no sure. francis wrote a blog about it yesterday i watched it last night it was it's fascinating it's a sport i never knew existed i don't know how they grow the sport because like they don't really have like live cameras and stuff underneath they obviously do this for netflix uh but it's fa- do you want to explain how they like kind of go down? I thought you did. That yeah, well, so there's I- a there's a I guess a rope, but it must be a stiff rope. It may be a pole of some kind, and they are they are up there on the surface, and they have a little b- harness or like a clip, so that they stay close to the rope because once they get to a certain not even that deep, I mean the water gets darker and darker, heavier, and darker. And it's it's really dark. And the after I guess fifteen meters or twenty meters or something like that, the pressure on their lungs compresses the air in their lungs and their lungs to such a small place that it actually it, you don't have to swim down anymore. You just enter this thing called free fall. Oh, and, fuck. oh yeah, that man. sounds hell no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Fuck they that. are just falling to the bottom. Wait, so the what's the sport aspect? Are they racing? It's how deep can you go on a oh breath? just. That's it. Like, do yeah. are people in a lake or an ocean like, or what? People die all the time. Yeah, I'd assume. Like on the way back. Yeah, like it's fifty percent it, of the it's time. It's the most deadly extreme sport. So okay. people like people. Are probably, you're probably like, I, right. I'm just gonna keep going down. But yeah, tell them about the. Well, they have a. They have a. <laughs> they have a thing at the bottom where you collect. It's like a plate where you've reached the depth that you wanted to get to. Yeah. Uh, you're going for a world record or whatever. And that's the depth that you need to get to. And you collect a tag off of that. So you stop yourself, you grab the tag, and then you head for the surface. And that's where the challenge begins. Getting down is not hard. It's easy. They're on one breath. They're not even kicking. So they're not expending any oxygen. There's no lactic acid buildup in the body. There's no CO2 buildup. All the way down, no problem. It's getting up to the surface. And... It's not even really the way up. It's the last 20 feet Yeah, where you either get there or you fucking black out. Yeah. And then they, if you black out, you have these safety divers that have swum down to collect you, basically, and be with you for that last 20 meters. And um, they have to close your airways, basically choke you so that you don't swallow water, swallow yeah. water while Oof. you're unconscious. They bring you to the surface and they revive you with cpr they say that you have between one and two minutes like you're fine your brain basically just shuts off all your systems you have one to two minutes to be revived and breathing before brain damage occurs yeah but these people like one of these people like blacked out like three or four days in a row four times in a row four, four dives in a row she society needs oh. to treat these people like junkies and addicts yeah. yeah they can't they can't prevent themselves from doing it they they yeah they're just completely they've lost the the plot a bit it seems. Yeah, because they're losing brain cells every time they do it. They're like choking themselves to a point of. I bet they suck facility. to go swimming with, just like in a pool. <laughs> but that's that's by the way, that's so another part of the dude. sport. <laughs> yeah, that's another Maybe. part of the sport which I didn't know, which is they a lot of them as kids start the sport by doing 
as many yeah. meters in a pool as they possibly can. Yeah. Um, and setting world records and stuff. And that's like, there's national teams for that. Uh, who knew? I did not know. And in what body of water do they do it in? So there are a couple of premier dive sites. Um, the Blue Hole, the Blue something, and they're just massive, massive deep holes. I mean, they're going to... The women's world record is like 100-something meters, which is 340 feet-ish. People watch it, go to watch it? Yeah. So what... Um, round trip one's in the bahamas i think and one's in uh yeah yeah they go to a depth of of 300 and then they start to go all the way back up go back up and it's again it's the return journey that fucks them up tj can we watch that person falling off the slide (laughs) oh this what the (laughs) 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 she's having a good time (laughs) <laughs> oh, was, God, there was not a chance in hell. What? I could have been way worse. Way than worse. Lucky she landed on the slide. No. Not the fucking concrete edge. What was she going for? Was she drunk? What do you think? <laughs> do you guys like watching videos of people hurting themselves? No. Um, not really. Depends, depends on, on what kind of hurt. Yeah, like not really like hospital hurt. Do you know, shots. Do you remember that show, I think it was called Wasted or Crashed or something? It was like a thousand of them. Scars? What, Scarred. Scarred. Scars or Scarred yeah. on MTV. That had, uh, who was who was that? Rob Deerdeck. Oh, uh, no, no. It was the lead singer of Papa Roach. Jacoby Shaddix. Jacoby Shaddix. <laughs> That's who it was. <laughs> yeah. well, fuck the you, know. <laughs> What a pool. <laughs> I thought it was Papa Roach was the lead singer. Oh, no, no. Interesting. But uh common misconception. Yeah, there there was that was a while where people were just getting demolished, like going over the handles of their bike. But I kinda I don't I don't mind it unless you see bone going like compound fractures, I yeah. think, are uh, yeah. where That's I draw the line. Compound Did, fractures are rough. Did you guys see this uh, clip going viral last night, the soccer injury? One of the most gruesome injuries yeah. of all oh, time. No. No. No no uh bones or anything popping out and no blood. I only saw it because Bussin posted it, which why? I mean Are you talking about it? Yeah, but I'm saying I like those those guys. I don't follow them. To Will see Compton horrific. actually took that video and they What's had it taken down. Mm-hmm. It's true. I think that they're going for volume and virality. Seems oh, yeah. Oh. Big time. <laughs> well, why would Ryan Whitney have to take it down? I don't think Ryan Whitney took that video. He might have like. But even if he did post someone it, it to why him? would he have to take it down? Maybe the cop. Cop is embarrassed. Probably. Make Probably. It way funnier. <laughs> he definitely was embarrassed. Yeah, but to that degree where he's like once it erased from memory and history. He made him take it down at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I was begged to take it down. It was his family. What does Doug's have to say about that? Well. Uh, 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 yep. Yeah, that's a fucking fact. That's a fucking fact. Dude, so Francis, how was the golf uh, outing? You it was were, really cool. You were going to fight a fucking a guy that yeah, was explain like... explain this. Norman Jong. Norman, Norman Jong. Jong. It's X-I-O-N-G, but you pronounce it Jong or Jong? Jong. They just wrote pronounced J-O-N-G, and I was like, I don't really think that clears it up all that much. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's an American guy. He's built like a Mack truck. Uh... And he played his golf at Oregon. He's an Oregon duck. And Ducks. apparently his coach at Oregon heard me not liking him and is now sending me a whole bunch of Oregon Ducks golf gear. Oh. Which is a pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, the best gear. Stuff. I'm pretty excited about yeah, that. That's kinda... Because you talk shit on him, he's going to send you free stuff? I guess so. To try to change my mind. What did you say about him? So you we... talk shit about the coach or do you talk shit about that guy? Him. Him. Every day we were assigned a group to follow, at least uh, myself and Frankie and Trent and then Dan Rappaport. We were out in the in the field on the course with a certain group and then obviously Kirk and Riggs and uh, Dick Marsh Dick Marsh were in the booth. And before we were, went out with our group, we were given a, a briefing of um, 
what our group was like and the players were like. And on my briefing, it said, this guy, Norman Jong, you're not allowed to talk to him. You just can't. Don't, every, you know, we, we were told if certain people were excited to talk to us and goof around with us during the tournament or whatever. And it was very explicitly stated that I was not to talk to. Takes himself too seriously. Norman Jong. And the first thing I did as soon as we went live was I said, yeah, I'm here with uh, this guy, this guy, and Norman Jong, and um, not to break the fourth wall, but I'm not allowed to talk to Norman Jong. I'm expressly prohibited from speaking to him. And then I t- and they were like, why? And I was like, I don't know. I think he might be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I started leaning into this thing of like me versus, I was like, who does Norman Jong think he is? Like, does he think he's better than me? You know, who do you think? You, I was like, do you think you're Abby Atwood from the seventh grade? You're not going to talk to me. Get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> it is a weird request. Now that I think about it, if I was like at a high pressure competition, maybe I wouldn't want you talking to me at all. There's a better way to well, convey it then. Right. Also, also, if you want to be a pro golfer, you have to get used to that. Yeah, and I think also yeah. the, the whole point of hiring Barstool to cover this event was to move away from the sort of eggshell walking, Stuff quiet, is. sort of fucking distance respect that is typically used for golf broadcasts. And everybody else was excited. And by the way, this was all a joke. Like I was trying to be funny by pretending to be mad at Norman Jong. But I went up and asked him after a bit. I was like, hey, Norman, off camera, you know, any chance that you might be willing to talk? And he goes, I'm pretty shy. <laughs> oh. And then I felt bad. Oh, that was the case? Well, hold on. I then said on the broadcast, this is what he just told me. And that worked. It made me look like the asshole. And it, it absolved him of not talking. But then I later found out that that was just a lie. He, he lied? Shy. He's not, not shy, shy at all. I heard that he's not shy. Class clown? What's his deal? Yeah. How, wait, how, how did, <laughs> did you like catch him doing something? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody You're said not shy. he's the most garrulous individual in the mess hall. Uh, <laughs> he was holding court? Yeah, he's telling jokes. He's up on the cafeteria You got a peephole video of him doing the gritty in front of his yeah. <laughs> Chugging milks. Yeah. You know, having a con- good time. Oh, he's guamies. Oh, yeah, they're the most garish people out uh, of all of Eastern Asia. So what the fuck happened? You eventually talked to him. Not on camera. I thought that he didn't he at least crack a smile or something. Well, then the next day, all those all the beef was featured on Twitter. My beef and my, my coverage of, of Norman. Right. And that became a bit of a storyline. He saw it and he came up to me the next day. And he goes, you're that guy, you're that guy who was making me look bad yesterday. And I started getting ready to fight. And uh, like physically, well, yeah, I mean, you don't know golfers. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what martial arts he knows. He's a big guy, you know. So um, I said, yeah. Uh, and he goes, that's great. Uh, it's funny for you to make me the bad guy. Ooh. And I was Ooh. like, oh, wow, all it's right. Peckish. This guy uh, gets it a little bit. And he like thanked me for it. We shook hands. Mm-hmm. So it was all good. That is funny. Interesting. So do you have a new friend? I don't know. There were other guys out there that I thought were really cool. I didn't get to know Norman that well. Um, we'll see how good the Oregon Ducks gear is as far as how that was hoping for like a green like green with the yellow o or what or i want some a little bit jordan I mean. golf shoes that are of the oregon duck ilk that's fire they i mean drippy for sure but is that shit you could wear I'll, Dude, I'll wear too i'll wear anything man no you won't no, you i feel play like golf? you would not wear uh, oregon gear to this golf. office why would well to really you I wouldn't wear you like would. a, a dry fit tee to this office oh yeah i would dude i've never seen it I'm thinking well, a nice like a nice windbreaker. That would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. Love me a good windbreaker. Who's your favorite Oregon duck? Mm, mighty. Prefontaine. Garrett Blunt. I think Marcus Mariota's up there, right? I don't know. It's Jake Herbert. Long. Yeah, Herbert. Justin. Stephen Che. <laughs> Jake Je- <laughs> Jeff Schwartz. 
friend, Peloton rider. Who had who had All the night? who had the best uh, <laughs> career ever? Who's the most noteworthy? Gotta be a runner. Oregon I think Steve uh, Prefontaine. Prefontaine, if he went, yeah, then he did. Prefontaine went there, but I mean Phil oh, Knight. Yeah, some runners. Uh, T.J. Ward, Super Bowl champion. No, no. Pro Bowler. He's a good player. He's not the most famous best career at duck. Oregon. Oh, best career at Oregon. Those are some sick Nikes you got on there, dude. Thanks, Francis. Imagine those with a big old Oregon Duck logo on them. Yeah. Phil Knight. You rip them right off my feet. <laughs> Ken Kesey. <laughs> Give me those. Uh, I Burrell. Oh. Olson. Bill Bowerman was the. Uh, Who have they had on the basketball coach. squad. Any good hoopsters? Trista Dylan. Crick was an Oregon Duck. <laughs> okay. Dylan, right. Dylan Brooks. Bowl Bowl. Bowl Bowl. Who else? Who else? Got me to Vegas. Speaking of Bowl, Washington though, can Dallas? we see Rico? Yeah, I haven't seen this video, but I've heard a lot of chatter. He's had a bad back, and then he went bowling. Heard plenty of chatter. I think he might have fixed his back. Oh. He said he was fine today. That's all I'm limping. Yeah, but you got to do around the workplace, you got to do that to make sure that, you know, when the lawsuit comes up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know what? that actually Is that on fast? Did he lose a clip, too? Did Seems he like he, a magazine. <laughs> How did he go up? so fast? The magazine on the left. Why was Damn, he? a magazine <laughs> flies out. How far ah. up is the runway? Why was he fucking sprinting? <laughs> Wait, how did I miss that? <laughs> yeah. He came in so hard. Started from what was he going stand? for? Shit. He, he, said, <laughs> he said that he was like, uh, I'm not good at bowling, but what if they could like measure how fast we're throwing? Huh. And then they did have that capability. Apparently, like most bowling alleys have like a like a miles per hour system. Speedometer. Yeah. And so he was like, I'm just going to throw it as hard as I can and try and break the record. And <laughs> it just ran on to the oil stream. <laughs> Uh, oh, does he hit his head? Is I think his head landed in the gutter. Shockingly similar to the police video. <laughs> yeah. Very similar. Someone's making the same sounds as he runs up. Clip falls out. How far into the lane he is? Did he try to? When did he try to start stopping? Right, not till far. I don't think he ever tried. I think he thought he was gonna cruise with the ball. Yeah. Stay attached until he got a strike. Yeah. <laughs> Hop out the ball return. <laughs> I think this? that's a piece. I think that's a gun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Get it a gun. Whole gun. I don't even think it's just a clip. It's the whole. It's Either the whole fucking gun or like a palm pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it skewed away though. Did he have in his? It was. It's sunglasses. It's his sunglasses. Oh. Is it his, his gun behind his ear? <laughs> like a pencil. <laughs> Whose giggle is that? Mush. Oh. Damn. That made me want to go bowling. I yeah. love bowling. I like yeah. Jake Marsh. We want to play some games. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your uh, relationship with Kirk like? It's good. Yeah. It's bad. Oh. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Is you it know, <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as it could be, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Is it actually, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. Come on, you be. You can't act like it's not, because he wouldn't do the same. I will say, I will uh, do anything to not uh, have Kirk dis dislike me. And his and have his fans come after me. I'll suck his dick, <laughs> and I mean that. I'll actually. Start, do you it. should start a trivia show. I'll give him money. <laughs> I'll give him. <laughs> Paying off Kirk is so funny. Things I have. A monthly payment. You know what could make your life really hard for you? Yeah, yeah I'll I'll suck his. Sorry, dick. sorry, sorry, sir. I will do it. I have no problem with that. I'll do anything. I'm kind of. In the, I kind of feel the same way. I love him. Love that guy. <laughs> him going at Jake was funny, and then Jake being like, Jake coming back at him was funny too. What did Jake say? What did he say? He was like, "You're a loser." He, he was like, "Stay in your lane. <laughs> run that, run that clip. Yeah, you gotta run this. that. You did it? No. Oh man. Oh, this was a banger. It was. There was a like six volleys back and forth between the two of them. Oh. Each one of them had a little. Stay in your lane. Kirk. I, I like uh, I like Jake Marsh a lot. I got to know I got to know these guys. You yeah. know, I you, you you do your broadcast and then you all go out to dinner and people let their guard down. Who and picks up Bill for dinner? Who has the company card? We just we, we nobody did, so we just rotated it so that we wouldn't so we could all you know expense expense. Is Riggsy there? Yeah, Riggsy's not, not picking up. Down He's his not Amex? picking up. Yeah, does he have a? Yeah, right now. I guess we didn't really go out to like them. Corn Ferry Tour courses. He probably goes out with the, the players. Tour, I think he's got a lot going on. You know? and prepare the night before. 
competitive rounds, and clearly it's paying off this weekend. Right? Yeah, you know, I don't know how. Uh, should they maybe a little more focused on some other aspects? I think, though, right? You know, we'll get into that later. Yep. Oh, okay, Jake, I'll just shut up. Like, Riggs, go ahead. Jake's I wouldn't hate getting into that. No, Jake said the goddamn rules, rules already. No, 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 we're not talking about it. We're a banning discussion from that from the broadcast. Not okay. banning it. Yeah, okay. not allowed. We not should allowed. just tease it the whole show. No, Jake has yeah. things in the world. Yeah. Let's just tease it the order. whole show. Let's just tease it the whole show. Highlighted. That's the one where Jake has patience. There's one where There's Jake one where they go back and completely board. runs right, out right. of patience, and he's like, he tells him to stay in his lane. He calls him a loser. He calls him a loser. Yeah, he said the L word. Here we go. I don't think it's this one either. He has his best finish on the tour this season. T2 yeah, Francis, and Knoxville. We, we, we need to interrupt your comedy so uh, Jake can give us a reading from what he did six months ago. <laughs> and, but since then, T2 on May 28th, he's missed five straight cuts until this week. So a huge bounce pass for Norman Jean. Yeah. Kirk, as he let me finish the context and don't cut me off. <laughs> it's riveting. <laughs> like an a-hole. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh. So it wasn't story. even this one. Yes, there was Christ. even another one. Oh, like, uh, wow. word. We were, we, were not, we, we were not told not to swear. And in the first day, Frankie said the F word and some other people swore. And I then think Jake doesn't swear. After, we were told, ah, uh, yeah, pretty good, but, you know, a couple of swears. Oh, yeah. We were like, well, why didn't you... Yeah. How can you be? Why didn't you guys tell us not to swear? To How can you be out. funny without saying fuck or God, titty? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's and I say that, but then we swore every single day after that, so... And you know what F word Frankie was using? Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Mm. But there's a there's an even better one where they really go back and forth at one another. It's Caddy. Talked to him this morning at the range. This one. A guy named Tomo, an Australian guy. He's been on his back for 18 months. He told me, quote, I'm a grumpy old bastard who enjoys just being on the back. End quote. Tomo. Felt like more of a two hours ago moment for that one, Jake. But whatever, we got time to kill him. Well, we were what talking we about Caddy with the other player mm -hmm. setting up the who they're with. Why don't you stay in your lane, mm -hmm. Kurt? Shut up. Why don't you keep acting like a college basketball game, yelling and screaming? It's a goddamn golf tournament, you amateur idiot. <laughs> yeah, we've been You're with each other for about seven days. <laughs> you <laughs> absolutely you suck at this job. Such a loser. Oh, awful. don't worry. You'll be, you'll be sending those stats next year. Don't worry. Oh man, yeah. this is great. We got a couple minutes to kill here. It's always going to come to this. <laughs> this is oh, fantastic. It's <laughs> it it amazing. Honestly, genuinely good. I would fucking imagine watching like the PGA, yeah, and that's how they're talking. You just got to put other. guys in the booth that yeah. fucking hate each, each other. other. Like a genius idea. It. That yeah, was that's amazing. So good. I would have watched goodness. if it was like that the entire time. I would have yeah. watched the entire so, thing. Was that in your ear? Like yes. So yeah. What were you doing? <laughs> like, what were you laughing? I'm <laughs> out of breath. Oh yeah, that <laughs> was laughing. incredible. I'm out of breath on the course. I'm laughing so fucking hard. <laughs> and and uh, by the way, Kirk. And this is real. Was so funny, like it, just his little ways. It, well, someone would say something, and you're you're not even thinking anything of it. And he goes, "What are we doing here?" <laughs> and he's like, "What are we? What are we doing? Here? What is this? What are you? It's like what the are you the go-to barstool line?" Yeah, yeah. And uh, it just I don't know, because then it then it makes you look at what was said in a different light, and you're like, "Yeah, that was." Kind it's of like the Cardi B of talk radio. Yeah, he is. She's been lighting people up with mics. Yeah. Yeah. Mike I saw that she spiked my cock to back, and then Lizzo kind of took all the heat away from that. Yeah. Oh my god. What happened with the Lizzo thing? I missed she, that one. She's uh, <laughs> like forcing girls to eat bananas out of her vagina or out of each other's vaginas. No, no, they were in Amsterdam. They went to a strip club. The oh. Strippers put a banana in their pussy, and she like made this one girl, who I guess is a virgin and like pretty religious, uh, her one of her background dancers eat the banana. Ooh. I don't think there's anything in the Bible against doing that though. Oh, there is. <clears throat> Against eating a banana out of And then she was also <laughs> weight shaming one of her background dancers for gaining weight. That's and I hilarious. said unto thee, you shall not eat the banana. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it just shows that there is. Forbidden fruit. <laughs> yeah. It takes place, it's yeah. inside the vagina. But it shows that, like, being a powerful person is what corrupts someone, not yeah. like being, like, a, a rich white male. It's like you give that shit to anybody. Yeah, people and were really mad. That's the first thing I'd do if I had a billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My background <laughs> dance is eat banana pussy. Yeah. Pussy banana. See you fat fucking Lizzo. I see what you're trying to fucking do. You stole cupcake <laughs> swag, bitch. Talking about I'm a female rapper. You ain't no female rapper, bitch. <laughs> what is this? Let Craig Kalman gas you, Lizzo. You don't got enough fucking sex appeal to be no fucking female yeah. rapper, bitch. <laughs> What is this? This is Azalea Banks. Oh, I love Azalea Banks. <laughs> she's, she's a top five hater. She's the biggest hater. 
He said this before. I think she's number one hater. She is. Yeah. Did you ever see when DC Young Fly made her cry on Wild and Out? Azealia Banks? Yeah. No. It's so gratifying. Or even him telling the story on 85 South is so gratifying. Cause he just called, like he just called her like ugly at little girl, <laughs> and she cried. She like literally like wept. She really? That's the last person you want to go up like roasting against. DC yeah. Young Fly. Oh, I was gonna say Azalea. No, DC Young. I yeah, think he like just the, ran a lap around the. Oh, the, he's the best. He he's like from called Adamsville. her ugly and like did a did a lap. He's from where? Adamsville. Oh yeah, that's obviously he's the goat. I thought I was gonna say, did you see Cat Williams? Is uh, do you ever see that clip of him with that radio host, the woman? No. And he's burying her. No. I would I would say I'd he's love to the see it. number one person I would not want to be in a he's war. He's so time. funny. Yeah. Cat Williams is incredible. Mm. So you'd suck his dick to stay on his good side. Well, what's the dick suck list? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, for me, <laughs> it's a question of Eric's definitely top dog. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Do you think it's like he's more like a father figure? Is that why? Um, no, I've never really been into Fear my his dad. Fans. Um, but it's yeah, that it's the 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 potential damage to my life and career uh, from being on the wrong side of someone. If if I could write that by sucking their dick one time, I I, I have no. Why? Problem. Who is the who is the original case study for this? Who were you on the wrong side of? How'd you get rehired, man? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Me. Oh. Yeah, well, he sucked off sass. Suck sass and cock. Suck He's sass. the gatekeeper. Suck Roan. I mean, I've been on the wrong side of Dave a couple times. And suck sass for success. Those are just the typical stoolies, though, that are like, fuck you, you don't deserve this job. It should be me in that seat instead of you. Like, that's not that, they're not that bad, the Dave stoolies. No, Dave has never ex- expected me to suck his dick. No. Who is it then? No, it was, it was Kirk. I, I oh, was, it was Kirk I was, originally. Oh, okay, I got you, yeah. got you. Interesting. What a power for the for one man to wield. Mm-hmm. By the way, mm-hmm. what's 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 so wrong with with fixing your life by sucking a dick? Mm. Is that bad? Are you really who's so proud? I think that was a Dave argument early on when he was like. If these directors want to give girls jobs for sucking their dicks, like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Bro, if, if you were like, hey... Um, Definitely a controversial one. It was controversial. <laughs> he was like, no, seriously, what is... <laughs> what's the rub there? <laughs> yeah, people... <laughs> you told would, me... Definitely wouldn't be going public with that take. <laughs> if it was down to me and Chris Evans to play Captain America in all the fucking Marvel movies... All the Avengers movies, and they said Chris unfortunately said that he's not willing to suck the director's dick. Francis, balls in your court. I would not have any issue. Yeah, a little cum on your throat. What's yeah? The, the only gay part about sucking dick is like the very last part. Well, I think the gay the the gay part of it is not getting anything from it. <laughs> yeah, huh. I would agree with that. If you're just doing it, to yeah. Do if you're it, just sucking dick to suck dick, a fucking oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ashes will get a reward. Yeah. Yeah. Love. <laughs> get a little prize. After. Yeah, a little prize. If you're just that. doing it to make a guy feel good. That's fuck. or because it makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're moaning while sucking. Dick. Yeah. Do guys Ooh, ever come yeah. when they suck dick? Hundred well, <laughs> percent. I don't know. From like from suck. Are they hard as hell when they suck? Dick? I bet. They're probably jerking off. You can tell, dick. kind of. Mm-hmm. You'd be able to tell. That's a lot of multitasking, though. And I bet when you're receiving it, you would know that he was more focused on himself. Right. And because his stroke and his would all get tangled, it get all. Or if you get mad, he finished first. You feel it on your knee. <laughs> on your feet. That would be <laughs> so <Toes>. embarrassing to, <laughs> to finish first. Fuck, when I you're just sucking can. dick. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. <laughs> You're sucking dick. Like you like, oh you premature <laughs> ejaculate as soon as your <laughs> lips touches dick. That would be so embarrassing, as, especially as a new man to the game, so, yeah, young fledgling on grinder. You try it out. You're like, I don't know if I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you come super hard right away. <laughs> well, I guess that settles it. <laughs> oh my god. I think if that happened to me, I wouldn't even want the guy to. F- finish on me and i wouldn't want it to finish yeah, it would the be job. a showstopper 
Yeah. Be like you are very selfish, and that's the wrong order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's the guy stops sucking because he's like, "Well, I'm done." Yeah. So I you hope know. you came too. It should be. <laughs> yeah. It should be safe. Oh, you time. didn't come. Oh, that, was, that was great. <laughs> Finishing sucking or like sucking someone's dick and coming up and be like, that was fucking great. <laughs> that's so much fun. Uh, is, any, is there anyone that's like that? Do people enjoy sucking? I'm dick? sure. I mean, Stephen Che is maybe like, not to the point not sucking of dick, orgasm, but Che, you finish eating pussy and you're like, God, that was fucking unbelievable. Yeah, that was the best I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> finish yourself off. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, not how things go, but uh, I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Who put a banana in? There? Yeah, <laughs> that can't be a thought. <laughs> I'm sure it happens. Like she tries to return the favor, like I have a headache. Yeah, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my. God. <laughs> or she tries to finish herself what the work you began. You're like, do you mind? I'm I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> yeah. <anymore."> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hop in. Where would you like me to begin? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Like, like, Join the Che faking an <laughs> orgasm as he's eating. Pussy. <laughs> 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 yeah, back he loves to. If you don't know, Francis, he loves the act. Oh really? He he's a standing the 69 guy. Cunning linguist. That's not true. Yeah, he yeah. is. Oh. No, but he loves the act though. He says he comes home from work and his wife is hanging by her feet from the ceiling. <laughs> like one of the like, those big ass <laughs> bats, <laughs> ready to standing 69. <laughs> big I walk bat. in the door. You better be doing it. <laughs> you better not be upside down when I get home. <laughs> Got some extra strength shoelaces. <laughs> Better be doing a headstand when I get home. <laughs> Shoes tied with fucking climbing rope. <laughs> Francis, well, opening the door in the pussy's eye level has to be a fucking <laughs> jarring experience. <laughs> I look through the peephole yeah. and then yeah, there better be a pussy on the other side. Eye level pussy while standing cannot. Yeah, eye level pussy in general. <laughs> That's a long ass torso. Her face is purple, and you're like, "What happened?" She's like, "Well, you were late. Yeah, I've been here a while. Where the fuck life, were boys. you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> chill, chill." Uh. <laughs> oh my god Francis you strike me as a fellow uh, <laughs> Fellow eater <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What are you seeing in Francis that's uh, hey, The way that you uh, deliver these lines Is insane oh, food, yeah. What do you see about you know, Where shall I see uh, <laughs> This culinary like man of the tongue <laughs> 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 I see your facial structure uh, Oh my god yeah that jaw fits right between <laughs> What did oh, you, you see eat? about Francis that made you think that? I don't know. Just is this uh, like a no beard? I guess that helps, probably. The disposition, though. Generous. Cares about others. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. Rolls his R's. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. When it when it's kempt. Well read. <laughs> yeah. Well I like read, it when Steven. it's kempt. I don't like an unkempt uh, buffet. Like where where people have the you know, one dish has spilled into the next. Yeah, people have eaten that before. The ladles are all soupy. Mm. Ew. <laughs> I don't like that. Mm -mm. No way, no way, Jose. The ladles are all soupy. You could oh. see that someone's been eating recently. <laughs> yeah, you can't have that. I like that. You mm -mm. can't have that shit. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wow, that was. Uh, high for me. Oh, we went some places there. I was crying and my nose was running. I was laughing so hard. That's never happened to me before. But uh, high noon, tequila seltzer. I would have mine, but I threw my fucking copy perfectly into the trash can in a paper airplane. And I was only able to do that because of that delicious high noon. Break into that thing like a vending machine. What the what hell did was you that? Think I just that was <laughs> you such think a gonna fall out? slobby. I feel horrible. Yeah. But regardless, uh, you'll feel good if you have a high noon. The tequila seltzers are the perfect way to start off a summer night. They're so crisp. They're so refreshing. They're so light. 100 calories, gluten-free, no bullshit additives, 100% pure. It's a Blanco tequila, and it's just real juice, 
seltzer. It's so straightforward. You can taste the purity of the ingredients, and they have some great flavors. Passion fruit, strawberry, lime. Grapefruit is going down real smooth these days in the Ferrone household. But you could bring some to your household, order them on Drizzly, or go to highnoonspirits.com. Enjoy some high noons the way that I've been enjoying this show. Elite yakking from some great yakkers. I miss uh, Kate and Brandon and Big Cat, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's those guys and gals. Great guys and gals. I wonder what they're doing out in Chicago. Have we gotten any updates from Kate about her house? I don't think or so. Or is shit I, going good? I think it's pretty good. I think she said it was nice. I Sounds like I it. doubt it. Can't be, right? Right. It's Kate. Can't be. There has to have been a bunch of shit that went wrong. I wonder what they did with their couches. The couches didn't fit when they got there. Couch doctor. Yeah, they must have. It's the only way. Uh, Get it out. I was with Jerry in Chicago, who is one of the most incredible people I've ever met. And um, he was telling me that uh, when Big Cat moved out of his apartment here, that Jerry went over to his apartment to fix some of the holes in the wall. Yeah. In exchange for the TVs. Yeah. <laughs> Floor- is yeah. this Floracy? This is out? I think, I think so. Big Cat said he was giving away the TVs. Yeah. How so, many? So like Jerry is very good 10. at like spackling like and, and filling Blue holes. Blue collar. Yeah. He's really good at that. And so he went over to just make sure that, you know, his security deposit would be recouped and, and fill the walls and stuff like that. And in exchange, he was paid by the televisions. But that uh, he had nine TVs. Nine. Nine. Yeah. And Jerry was like, yeah, I didn't need nine TVs. So I gave five of them. To Rico. to Rico, yeah, Rico needed a <laughs> he yeah. five to Rico, and then he kept the others himself. And as he was getting them out of his car, he dropped them, <laughs> them, <laughs> all of or them? dropped oh, uh, at least one of them, and and broke it. And he was like, "I did the whole three hours of work for for nothing." Oh my! Well, Rico could probably give him one of yeah, the one of his five TVs. TVs. That was what back. I was wondering. Is yeah, like, go four for four. What's Rico gonna do with five TVs? Do these guys just have a place that can? Uh, I mean, are they big or are they TVs? like? I imagine it's like the gambling cave where they have them all lined up. That's what I'm so. thinking. They want that set up. How many cat has? Do you have one. I have one. I have three total. I have you have two. three? Yeah, I have one in a guest room, one in a bedroom, and one in the living room. Fair enough. That that's makes that, that's that crazy. No, I got two. It's a like bedroom. Damn bedroom? good setup. I think no, I, I got my like... I got my little one that I play video games on, and then I, my big one's right over it, and I watch TV while I'm playing video games. Or I'll put on sports. I think those guys, when they're watching game, like they ha- they have action yeah. on multiple games, so like they're trying to keep tabs on that. But that's yeah. a uniquely barstool thing. Yeah, dudes having a billion TVs up. I is think. it? I don't think I don't it's. A, I think it's actually dudes. a lot more realistic now than it used to be because TVs are not as expensive as they used to be. Like we could all get if we, I don't have the space for that many TVs, but I could afford to buy like three TVs. Have you seen that folding TV? It must no, be the most nice, pointless dude. fucking. You could do. I mean. You don't, don't, ha- I don't. You don't have, have to get it. You don't have to get. You don't have to get four ninety-five inch TVs that take up the entire wall. Big Cat's new house. I think he's getting sixteen TVs. Yeah, I think he said that. that. Makes sense. Sixteen? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think anyone, everyone should have at least fifteen. I have zero. Yeah, I don't even have a microwave or <laughs> toaster. I don't have a microwave. Really? My apartments have always come with a microwave. Must be nice. Me. Hey, dog. Yeah. That's the oh yeah! TV. Look at this. That's the most pointless fucking. Wait, what are you gonna do world? with the fold? It one. I don't know. That just you it looks like your becomes apps. like a table. Yeah. Or does it all the way go? Does it go all the way in? What the? Fuck? Oh, that is. But then you bad. have like folding tech. will always have some sort of crease or hinge yeah. in the middle of the screen, and then it's like. Okay. I think I'd rather just have the TV. What the fuck do you have to hide away the TV for? It's such yeah. a slow process. There's another one that like rolls up. I think. Have you seen like that? Remember the curved ones? I would yeah. honestly, I would definitely get that. Would I don't you? think I think that technology is outdated it. now. Just to have curve? it, no, that the, thing, that yeah, uh, just to have it. That'd be the curve, sick. yeah. I think curves. It was never really that curved. It was just like the ends. I so thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. What was the point of that? It was supposed to be like a three D, like an IMAX type experience. It was if you have multiple people on a couch, like the ends are typically the worst seats. But with a curved one, you could There's get no a better, better depth. Yeah. <laughs> better, better yeah depth one part's of eclipsed everything. by the other ones, probably with the curved one. Like, interesting. Yeah, I don't. I feel like you just keep them. I think we have them pretty pretty much down, just like a square that you can put shit on. 
It's all you need. I've been thinking about upgrading TVs. Yeah? Bring one of mine into my room, mount it right above my bed. Go 75. Just kidding, I can't fit that. <laughs> if I cap out I think you too. could. Well, you have a big-ass fireplace. Your yeah. fireplace is massive. Oh, yeah. I, I have a question. When When you guys are watching TV... What mode do you have it on? I don't even know there's on. You know there's modes. Yeah, that's the only. <laughs> mode. That's one of the two I, modes I, wasn't I a, use. I wasn't aware there was modes. Yeah, like sport mode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when you are watching a movie, I remember Tom Cruise once told me that I should have oh, it in you filmmaker. Saw you guys were talking. <laughs> yeah. He, he Wait, what? Spoke directly to me. <laughs> He was over at your place. You're like, what mode is he this? He said, hey, we all these new TVs are too, uh, too high definition. We want you to watch it the way we wanted you to watch it. So like turn your TV on to or filmmaker else? mode. Oh. Filmmaker mode or theatrical mode. I don't know if my TV that. has that. Yeah. Yes, no does. way Tom Cruise knows how to work his remote to that level. <laughs> Sass, you're probably by default on game mode if you've ever touched that. Because well, I don't. I don't. on latency. My my, uh, that's my little TV. I could see if that has. What that. does it change? The color or like the frame rate? Lightness, yeah. darkness, all that uh, stuff. There's all kinds of stuff that's going down different. But there's so many different modes that I never know which one to have it on, and it's it's something that troubles me, because I'm certain I am not receiving the best optimal viewing experience. And would you change modes for like from a movie to a basketball game? I sure would if I knew which way to which one to do, and I'd like someone to weigh in if there's anyone listening that knows the best way to do this. I feel like they should just have it be straightforward and just like uh, you turn the TV on and that's the best way to watch the TV. That like they would shouldn't be, nice. be shuffling like, oh, this one's good for this way, this one's good for that way. Do you guys have sound bars? Because I think I need one. Cause I've I got one. I can't hear movies. No, I, I don't dialogue. have a sound bar. Yeah. Dialog is tough no matter what these days. And uh. I, I read, I also heard that I think Prime Video was going to start doing some kind of setting where you could do enhanced dialogue because everyone's complaining about this. Oh. I shouldn't I have to movies. put subtitles yeah, dialogues on. Dialogues are You need subtitles, and I hate having to read the speaking. whole thing. Yeah, Especially it when sucks. it's a comedy and you hear, you see the joke first. Yeah, you can't yeah, do subtitles they, they, you, read the fir- you read their dialogue before they say it. Yeah. yeah. Too many movie theaters are doing that right now. Closed captioning? Yeah, closed captioning on like a prime yeah, time. I don't, I don't need that. Put that shit early in the morning, dude. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Freaking second class citizens. The deaf? <laughs> <laughs> are there that de- are there the bookworms? Are there deafs still walking around like that? I feel like they're everybody has gotten Mr. Beast to clear their shit up for them. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just kind of cool now. I don't yeah. think there's that many deaf people out there that every single TikTok needs to have closed captions on it. The amount of blind people in New York City is astounding. Oh yeah, way more blinds now. than deafs. Yeah. And you can't do shit about that. It's the worst city to smell better. Mm. <laughs> We're in Blind Alley too, though. Or yeah. 23rd is the hot spot Wanda. for the for the blind people. And more respect to them. Remember when you I, I remember I helped that blind guy and you saw me? Oh yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that was fucking nuts. That's why we do it. So wait, wait, I saw you. Roan do that. No, you didn't. Yeah, or you remember. You helped that blind person across the road right a block not. away. I did not. Yeah, you did. I've never helped a blind we person. We talked about it as soon as we got on here. No, it's it gross it skews me out. Blind people? I think you, I think you were there and you, you were thinking of me. Yeah, it was Oh, Francis. it was you. Yeah, it was me. Francis. Oh, yeah, it was you. Yeah, what are you trying to we, give him I the credit for? Wait, saw Roan him. saw... We both saw we you. Both oh, saw me. Wait. All right, I, I was with Roan and we saw... Yeah, I was did. doing it when you guys arrived, which right. means that I did it without knowing you, you were watching. You which knew means we were watching. I get full credit for it. For sure knew we were watching. No, I did not. 100%. No, I was trying to see through that guy's eyes. I didn't know you were there. you high visibility area for you. It was close to the office, but that guy was still blind he needed help there do they need help did he need help probably not i don't know sorry bro and that was for sure not yeah i I wouldn't do that it's it's really it's icky i just grabbed him let's go (laughs) if i don't wash their jackets there's no chance i'm I'm really kidding i fucking have the utmost respect for blind people there's two blind rappers one of them is named manas ill and he's from australia and the other one's blind fury and he was one of the best Guys on 106 and Park, he would fucking crush it. Oh. He have someone come and whisper into your ear about what the outfit was, and he would rip people. Oh, apart. he would roast as well. Which he would ro- is he's blind eyes. roasting. 106 and Park, that was gin. Gin yes. was the major yes. thing of that. Yes, it was all the battle. It was all insult, insult rap. 
Oh, yes. Oh, that's like makes it way more impressive. That this he's dude, blind. blind Fury, was fucking sick, dude. He had a cool ass voice. I not have known he was white. Hmm. But he was very talented, and I just say that to illustrate my the utmost right. respect I have for the blind. Can you guys name blind people that you admire? Yeah, um, the pianist for Ambassador X, or X Ambassador. Is he? Goes hard. He goes off. Really. Um. And so just the one. I don't want to like lie. Yeah, no, that's totally cool. I don't know a whole lot. There's not that many that are really getting their moment in the. Think of athletes. I think they wouldn't know. <laughs> I think they could sense light and dark, though. Right? Really? I think that's more glandular. Your pineal gland, I think, does I wonder it? what mode they have their TVs on. <laughs> <laughs> Blind mode? Volume on 100? I guess you don't need that. You probably get the volume really low. If you're blind, you probably you probably have incredible hearing. Mm. I hope we have blind yak fans. Me too. That would mean a lot. Think we do? Blind people probably love podcasts. Yeah, you're right. Blind YouTube viewers? Give us the click. What do you know? What do you care? Shout out to the blinds. Didn't uh, KFC like have beef with blind blindos? Did, yeah. Back in the day. Did he? Yeah. They came at him. It's old barstool shit. Why? What do you do? You wrote a blog. It came at him. Something. Something about blind people. Strong take. It was a <laughs> hot take. How hot? Fuck <laughs> the blind. As I think it's up there. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> it was like blinds and Hondurans. Close. Yeah, I remember the Hondurans. That was good. <laughs> that was good. I was I was on his side with that one. Right. What was his take on Honduras? He hated them. <laughs> he hated the people from Honduras. Why? <laughs> they had hitters. And they, they're I think na- they do. They're kind of nasty, to be honest. Because and well, a lot of like Bitcoin bros are down there now. Honduras they're and not like doing Venezuela, anything. right? Isn't it Venezuela? No, they're always going overseas. Converted its uh, currency place. for a minute. Oh, yeah, maybe. But I think that there's like a Central American com- country, too, that has a, a lot of them just chilling on the beach. I think I saw 60 Minutes about it. I just watched the clock ticking part and then was on my phone instead of paying attention to the entire thing. Fuck yeah. Fuck Yes. What's tell you what, this weather is really great. I'm 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 feeling like Very fall nice is out. right around the corner. It's not. You're craving fall. I just I, I I hate the fucking summer. Yeah, I do too. And I'm really ready for football. And I'm really excited for football. Want to watch some football games together? Yes. Oh yeah. Have you guys passed each other in the building yet? Oh uh, yeah. But oh, we're yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. We're one floor and half a hallway apart. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I've been hoping to see you in the gym. And when we're do you gonna, go to the gym usually. Uh, you know, right after work, like five thirty, okay. six. I'm a morning guy. We're gonna start our own um our own podcast and call it Fathers of a Boy Son. Oh, yeah, very interesting. How does that make you feel? Fine by me. <laughs> Sass, you can't get to. <laughs> Try as you might. I'm gonna get to him. All right. Guy like me though, you could get to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Easy. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It is nice gettable. Now. I wish we could do like an outside yak today. It would be cool. Like when you would go have class outside underneath yeah. a tree. Mm-hmm. I could never find the right way to sit though. Crisscross it applesauce. Never, it was always underwhelming and never delivered. Gotta say crisscross applesauce and then just pick at the grass the whole time. It's yeah. a little bit emasculating to sit with your, your legs crossed. The grass. Yeah, that's fun. Even just the sound it makes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, ever, I don't know if I've ever. I don't know if I've ever sound. Yeah, heard that one. <laughs> that the, the one impression you can't do is grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know if there's a sound at all. <laughs> uh, my boy Roan has the best grass. <laughs> Wait, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you kind of. <laughs> feel like grass is notoriously ah. silent. Picking it. The ripping sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. wait. Let me picture it. It's almost no. more of a feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of sound. <laughs> Kind of like that sound. Kind I of. get it. I get. Th- I see <laughs> the grass, but it's got to be pretty tough grass. Yeah. More well, like I'm f- talking about crab grass. Yeah, fescue. Strong, strong, strong grass. Dense fescue. It's hanging on. Oh, let's hear this shit, baby, baby. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> all right. Oh, he's he's respect on my name. Oh, all right. Put respect on my fucking name. Apologies, Adam. Wait, what was that? It sounded like a toad. <laughs> All right, you do it then, Sass. Yeah, I'm not the impression your grass. guy. Do your grass. I don't do impressions. Come on, give us some grass. Yes, you do. You're doing behind closed doors, but you're just shy. I don't do you're like that, that golfer that Francis has beef with. I know. Norman Jong. A little shy. I cannot tell you. By the way, he's uh, he's from Guam. Yeah, that's what Wikipedia says. How do you says. say that? Guamese or Guam? Gua Guamayan? Guamayan? Oh Respect. I I wanted to call him Norman Jong Un so fucking mm. badly the whole week and I just didn't and I knew I couldn't and I Yeah, you could have. You said it now. You got it off. This is the yak. You can get away with anything. <laughs> That's a fact. Nope. Constantly pushing the boundaries. That's a nope. fact. Mm -hmm. Got milk looking at <laughs> Got milk looking at I should not have said that. <laughs> What was that? That was sass. Sass oppression. Uh, oh, I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even close. It's spot on. Oh, it's on not dude. even close. <laughs> spot it's on. It's so easy to do you. <laughs> oh, man. But he was making fun of people with vitiligo. What's that? That's, uh, KB, what were, KB, what KB was saying was so much worse. <laughs> what were you calling them? Well, I didn't even know what that's what we were talking about. I KB said, was calling them. Like I said, "Is that the faces. one with splatter faces?" I didn't know. I wasn't talking about them when I said that. Was I was talking about lines. other shit. <laughs> no, purple. you were like not. archaic shit. Yeah, yeah, you were talking about other shit. Anymore. Some <laughs> biblical <laughs> shit. KB, KB grouped them. What I was on. That was. I didn't even notice that facial defect. What is splatter face? Not about. Not this woman. Not Winnie. Oh, you called her splatter face? Oh, Sass, Sass called her it. gut milk looking ass. Oh my god, I, I, dude. You arise that it, we may have been that talking is... about a splatter face, but that's not a splatter face. Oh <laughs> man. That's as bad as it gets. I know, and I instantly apologized. I should have done the foozy and started just throwing shit around the room. <laughs> I never say that! <laughs> I never say that. <laughs> I need to see this clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Game, I want to see it badly. It, it, I think he did it on purpose. 100%. Huh. Wow. Because he's he, he's the type of guy who probably had said the N-word for like eight years. <laughs> yeah, I think like some like Persian versions, versions think they can. This is what is I he in done. jail? I should have done this. Yeah, what is that room? I think he's milk. in... <laughs> It looks like a classroom. <laughs> I never use that word. I swear to fucking God, this isn't content. I never use that fucking word. I've listened to rap songs every day on this subathon, and I always change it out for brother. I had a tweet that literally said, I had a tweet that literally said, I hate one street. Rules. I didn't know that was, yeah, I guess that was a subathon. Imagine, imagine someone without the cameras on having that reaction to like yeah. accidentally <laughs> yeah. slipping that in. One of your rapping. That was mints as soon as. He's yeah, just, he's tweeting through it though. Twenty minutes ago, he just did a Barbie girl walking around. Video no one's actually mad at him. Yeah, How yeah. could they be? What is this? Good ass content. Yeah. That's him. Who's he getting? Oh. He slips the N word into this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! no I say I'm a brother girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> on, his, Give me. on his hands, on and his knees. hands and knees in the rain. Oh! <laughs> it's like the end of Shawshank. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! <laughs> <laughs> You Blames the, God. <laughs> yeah. Who's the dude that broke in here? Alex Stein. Alex Stein. He's fight. He's in a boxing match. Can he was just that? in like a Taco Bell starting shit. <laughs> the pregnant woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That must be an interesting life to wake up every day and be like, I'm gonna. That's his thing. I guess. He's like, I'm gonna punch a pregnant woman in the stomach. That's yeah, definitely his. Throw like, hot dogs at a Muslim dude. <laughs> you, got, you gotta pick your battles, yeah. man. Did he do that? It's on the checklist today. Hot dogs on the Muslim guy. Got it. <laughs> Did he actually do that? Yeah, but I think he accidentally got turkey dogs. No, I think he purposely got turkey dogs to be so, like So a, it was okay? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do no, it. No, it's cool. Wrong. It's cool. 
They respect this. Oh, you fell for this, idiots? Wait, did, speaking of, uh, I meant to bring this up when we were talking about Jersey Jerry earlier. Did you see his Instagram story yesterday when he was like, had to break up with the guy I buy my vapes <laughs> yes, from? Yes, he was a vape oh. plug. Didn't, didn't think it would be so emotional. And he said, like, thank you. And then, like, in Arabic underneath, like, some <laughs> message to the guy. <laughs> I was fucking hey, dying. So funny, I didn't see it. It's so it might still be on his uh his stories on Instagram. I wanted to look up what he was saying to to the his brother his vape bro. Uh, why would you even tell the guy you were leaving? So he gets vapes delivered by like a dealer. I think he buys in bulk. He doesn't. Uh, uh, they don't have nicotine in them though. Interestingly, Jerry's. Jerry's. That's what he told me. Probably his, on the water. His vapes are just flavored air. Because he's sober. Yeah, and he's it's sober, just sober. for the oral fixation. And really? The, wow. Yeah. It's good for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, it was on his Instagram story, too, and it was like a picture with the Arabic writing. Oh, he <laughs> takes a picture of him? Uh, it wasn't a, I don't think it was of the guy, but it was, I forget. I don't know. It was just so funny. Jerry's such a goat. Is he out in Chicago already? I think so. Yeah. He's been fixing up his place. You know who I got to know was Trent. Oh, God. I'll tell you what. I love Trent. He's a simple man. I love Elaborate. Trent, Trent is wonderful. Yeah. He's wonderful. He's as pure as it gets. And you can, I, I like to grab him, put my arm around him, kind of, you know, he's a big boy, so you can kind of rough him up. Yeah, rough house. I like that. I like rough housing with him. Where did you? What did you guys wind up getting for dessert that night? I I was feel like I was Trent asking. and I. We be, that's what we bonded over. We became dessert buddies, and I wanted to feed him as much unhealthy dessert as possible. You said you like watching fat people get fatter. Yeah, especially if I can contribute to it. Like Lizzo, you're a feeder. I don't think Trent's fat. He's not. He's literally big boned. He literally has like wide, yeah. a broad clavicle. Hmm. Strong sternum. I'm going to get lampooned for this take. <laughs> like Trent's fat. <laughs> nah, he ain't. Dave's going to. Were you trying to put him on to new desserts? Guys, what the hell are we even doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted, uh, when he didn't want dessert, I would push him to a point where he would change his mind. Oh. And then we would have it together. We would we would both get a dessert. Yeah, that's perfect about desserts. Two two forks. One of the problems with Illinois is that they list the calorie count on on the menus of yeah. all these restaurants. And there was a brookie, it was a brownie cookie with uh-huh. a ice cream, and uh, that dessert I think was like thirteen hundred calories. And he was like, "Do you want to split it?" And I said, "No, I think we should each get one." So we each had one, and then we and we finished it. Ice cream God is damn, uh, way more calories than I expected. That's dense. Uh, the Ben and Jerry's pint. My God, like two thousand calories. You I used, would to, think. I used to put a whole pint away a night. So Milk Bar yeah. advertises their uh, cereal milk ice cream as one hundred thirty calories a cup, which seems very low. That's very low. Probably uses like skim milk or something. It's good as hell. Yeah, it still sounds good. Sounds worth it. Yeah, there's a lot of like healthy ice creams now. Yeah, let's hop. I don't think this is. None of them are as good as no. Ben and Jerry's. I don't know, man. The the coconut uh, milk is pretty good. Those ones, like the Van Leeuwens, when they use cashew milk, or uh, that's very good. It's really solid. I've only had them. I want ice cream. I want it bad. I do too, but sometimes you just feel a little better about yourself when you don't when you deny the craving. Yeah. Wait, well, no, when you go when you go the alternate route when you have the, the non dairy one. Oh, totally. Anything that's like the substitute, if you can trick yourself into eating that, it buys you a lot of extra naughty time on the back end. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll have like a vegetarian meatball. Then I'm like, okay, I'm going to have whatever the fuck I want after this. This is weird. I I didn't eat yesterday. What? I didn't have food. What? The first time I I can remember that ever happened. Did you forget? Were you too Yeah, busy? I forgot. Not, wow. I forgot and I... Uh, just wasn't that hungry. Is it a travel I, day? By 8 o'clock, I was hungry, but by that point, I thought it was maybe like 9 o'clock, actually. By 9 o'clock, I thought it was too close to bed for me to eat, so I just said, I'm just going to drink a lot of so water. So how long was it between your, how long was your entire fast? From, was it like 36 hours? Like 8 o'clock one yeah, night? I guess, I guess wow. from the previous night Don't do that. until this morning. I heard that shit is good. I heard I 36 hours is ideal. I didn't eat. Feel leaner? Dude, my pants fit so easily today. Fuck. Yeah, it's amazing what like one day can do. One day, I feel like a god. 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking a day off eating every now and again. Yeah, but I usually I'll do like a twenty four hour, so I'll have a meal, wait a whole twenty four hours, then I'll have that same meal again. Mm. Get dinner, run it back to a dinner. We Here, Paul, some- you you eat a lot. No, not really. Uh, no, you do. What? No, I eat like one or two meals a day max. But big meals, and you don't count your little snackies in between. No, I have very small meals. Usually, it'll be like a sandwich. But then I have like ten drinks. Yeah, that's where the calories are coming from. I'm gonna have some drinks tonight. I'm going to Tyler Childers. Oh, God, dude, I can't fucking wait. He's fantastic. Radio City Music Hall. Oh, nice. I had some drinks last night watching Sassy perform. You went? Oh yeah. Of course I did. He crushed. Who else was there? Some new jokes. New material. New material. Nah, it was okay. Oh. No, it was good. Ooh. It was Dece. The best. Was Colin there? Hosting. Colin was hosting. Nice. Who else? Who else? Funny Norwegian guy. You have Daniel Simonson? I don't know. I, w- I had to leave. Monotone, so I had to know dry. Stand. Yes. I, uh, people don't like... Yep. When I, that guy was on the yeah. show? Yep. That guy's the funniest guy in New York, I think. It's hilarious. I think, ha- I think Sass. No. <laughs> no. No, that guy's <laughs> Sam- <laughs> really That guy's really Daniel funny. Simonson. Is his name Daniel Simonson? Uh, is the funniest the guy. There was a group of Hasidic Jewish guys on, uh, having their bachelor party, one of them, on a Tuesday, and they were heckling. What? They were he- Did you Shekling. notice this? <laughs> 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 they weren't like annoying. Come on. Come on. You had that. <laughs> I didn't, but that's... You had that. I swear I didn't. You must have had that. I promise Francis, you, but... Let it breathe. My word. <laughs> no, they weren't like annoying heckling. They were more like... Any joke that they heard that they liked, it would be like an explosive reaction. Like they would fall into each other's yeah. arms, oh, and they'd be like, like "That clapping. was actually good. Yeah, that was actually fire." But it that would be, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it would be like the middle of a. It would be like a tag, like in the buildup, and they'd just be like making, causing a fucking ruckus. But they were good. They were fine. Funny. They're mischievous guys. Yeah, they were cool. KB knows. Yeah, I do know. <laughs> I've seen. You've seen the curiosity. Maybe. How's the close? DJ career going? Stops. Fucking um, quit, like everything else he tries yeah, to start. Yeah, did I quit at? learning Spanish? What was the name? What was your DJ. name? KB <laughs> did what? KB did what? <laughs> There's no new tracks coming out? I'm not inspired anymore. I, was, I don't even want to <laughs> There's go. no good music that's come out. I mean, I've, God forbid I ain't going in a fucking mirage with these killings. What? Yeah, that guy, the Goldman in. Oh, Dude, yeah, it's yeah. fucking haunting. What is it? Um, the Smiley Face Gang? And they're in Chicago as well. They're killing people. That's what who is it is. On? They kill someone at Brooklyn Mirage. Two people after the concert, which uh, same shit as Austin. The Austin know, guy. I, th- I don't know what they're doing. They may be like posing as Ubers, which there are a lot of like makeshift Uber drivers, and I think oh, I've yeah, even rid shows. like oh, we've all we, we did, did one that after the Yankees, yeah, which is terrifying to think of. Mm. Can't be falling for that. If you're with a, we would have taken that guy easily though. Mm. You got to be ready to kill your Uber driver at all times. That's the takeaway. There's you like saw that one girl in her like Uber that she had a gun to the front. She was in the back seat of her Uber and she was holding a gun. Yes. The back seat. Of the oh, Uber. that's. I mean, it's like probably more scary for drivers around. Yeah. Yeah. It feels extreme. Yeah. Just for no reason. Yeah. For a picture. Hmm. Yeah, a guy was riding in an Uber. Another one I saw, and like someone tried to stick him up. He just like kept driving. He kept very calm, but I think they're they're sticking up. And killing Uber drivers sometimes, which is spooky. That shit is spooky as hell. I mean, I got I took one of those right when I moved here. One of those uh, fake Ubers. Oh, uh, you got ripped. JFK. You got robbed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've always gotten decent deals. I got a bad deal, like three hundred bucks. You just have yeah, to be well. very honest up front. They, those people who try to intercept you when you're coming out of the airport. They, they made you got, stop got, at an ATM, right? No, I got to Venmo him, but I got... I got got to Venmo him. <laughs> Good opportunity. Lucky guy. Lucky. I didn't even... It wasn't even... I got, like, straight up tricked. Like, I had an Uber, and he was here. And that guy was... And I was like... I got oh. in. I was like, for Harry? Because it was the same car. And he was like, yeah. Wow, it says white Mazda Miata, but you're actually driving a fucking <laughs> Suburban? <laughs> I'm no. on the back of a what motorcycle. What an upgrade. I'll get in. And then he took my phone, and he was like... um, He's like, it's not giving me the directions. Like, where can I see where you're going? I took my phone. And he canceled oh, the yeah. Uber on my phone. Oh my! Oh, God. I remember this story. Yeah, that's. And I was just in an unmarked oh. vehicle. <laughs> you should have died. Yeah, that was yeah. scary. I almost like he almost like might as well have killed you. Yeah. Yeah. I was sending out. I was texting everybody. Jeez. He gave you Dive back your phone. Car. Gave me back my phone, and then he drove me home. And then he was like, "It's three hundred dollars," and I was like. I don't know. And then I called Uber, and it was a whole thing, and they were like, you're going to have to do a police report. Nah, 
I'm not doing that. Why would Why would it be on them? I don't know if it was because I think I think he was. I think he might have been the, the Uber road. driver. Uber's gonna pay for what? this. I think he was the Uber driver, and he he was like, "Oh, this guy's a sucker." App? I don't know what it was. I don't know what happened. It was either I got into the wrong car or he was the Uber driver. Regardless, he took my phone. He knew to take my phone and cancel the Uber. So he was like, "I'm just gonna have you pay way more." I don't know. The whole thing was really weird. Yeah, it was like right when I moved here. I wasn't. I just didn't know that was a thing that people did. Mm-hmm. You don't stick up for yourself either. That's probably we're on it. the highway for th- like an hour and a half coming back from JFK. What am I gonna do? JJ Forty-five Reddick did minutes the same thing. while we're on the bridge. Be like, hey man, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> or when you get to the place, just be like, I'm not giving you three hundred dollars. I was more like I'd rather just give him the money and then figure this out with Uber after. Yeah. What did JJ do? Uh, someone got... He, he had someone in the back of his car. He was in the it Uber was in the trunk. and there was oh. like someone being human trafficked. He like saw someone moving. He made the car oh, pull yeah, over. He hopped that. out of the car and they drove away and he never got the license plate. But it was like, I think he was on the way to do part of my take or something like that. He like did part of my take afterwards, didn't tell the story. And then the next day he, the story uh, came out. He Did he go to the cops immediately? I think he did call the cops seems like a sound dude he didn't get the license plate i guess he wasn't that sound enough pretty terrifying i guess uber driver tried to uh rob fasoli for all of his camera equipment <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. he like put it all in the trunk and then he walked around the car to like get in and the, the uber driver just took off down the street yeah like it seems like a bad idea when i have like your name yeah. car yeah. make model yeah. license plate and location Sometimes he probably knew Fasoli a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. He probably knew how... <laughs> Fasoli caught up to the car and just started banging on the windows, and the guy was just like, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> a good response, honestly. This ha- I, I was at the stand like a week or so ago, and I called an Uber, uh, and the guy came, and I watched him. He stopped for one second in front of the stand and then said that he had picked me up, and then kept driving. Oh my god! And my app was like, "You're on your way home." And he got to the stoplight or the stop sign at the end of the next thing, and I was like walking, and I jogged and caught him. Yeah. And I knocked on the door, and he goes, and he opened it, and I go, "What just happened?" <laughs> and he goes, "Sorry, I must have made a mistake. I didn't know where you were." And I was like, yeah. "You said you took me." <laughs> You say you're right now. It says that I'm in this car. Yeah. And he goes, "What do you want me to do? <laughs> do you want?" He goes, "Do you want to get out?" And I go, "No. Now we're going." Well, you were in the car. At now this I'm point? in the car. <laughs> but I'm mad at it. Yeah. yeah Would have been pissed. And he and, and he and is I, right. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. And I'm and we're going. And I and I keep. I'm like, why did you? Why did you lie? <laughs> and he goes, "Listen, man. Do you want to go home or not?" Right. That's a threat. And I said, he goes, you can get out and call another Uber. And that's I was what like, he wanted you to do. He wanted you to have to yeah. cancel. I said, no, we'll we'll go. We'll go. And we went. And, but we didn't speak for the rest of the ride. Yikes. Um, I, I, I don't understand what those guys, what their strategy is. Because they, they do that when, like, when they steal your food. You're like, you know I'm just going to get a full refund and then you're going to get charged for the food. Like, I, what is, Why don't they just go buy food? I don't think they get charged. I think they're banking on the fact they that you won't, you won't go to the trouble. I don't to, think they... Uh, do they get charged? I don't think they, they do. There's probably so many people who fake that. I get a refund every single time. How do you... How do you too, but... I've had dudes just take a picture of like the street in New York and be like, your food's here. And I'm like, dude, you're like in a different fucking borough. And then I instantly get a refund. Yeah, but I don't think they're charging those people. I think that it's just like a built-in buffer of like error. Really? I think so. Right, if they were, because people lie so much about that. Well, I saw a video of it uh, one time at a hospital. A woman, a nurse behind a counter, ordered the food. The guy delivered it to her, and then she put in a complaint saying that the food hadn't got there, and he came back in with his camera being like, I delivered you your food. Like, you know I delivered you your food. He basically confronted this woman because they. I think they get penalized in some way. Oh, this might be. I like this. I like this. Yeah, this is this is good justice. This makes me happy. I love it. This is probably. Are you at the hospital? Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle, and you put down that I didn't deliver it to you because I just got fired from my job. Oh my god. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> this is my only source of income. I do this all day. Now I'm fired from my job because you want your ten dollar burrito? Are you out of your mind? Who does this? Who does that? Fuck yes. You got me fired. Like I need the corporate number or something. Is that, I need to get your ass fired. 
Oh, he's about to like, kick off his shoes and whip her ass. You Wait, why? Is it sped up, or is that just what his voice sounds like? Yeah, yeah. Alright, you want to say that? Nah, he's just... This... No, what? Did you... What are you calling? Did you get your food or what? How are you? I even called my lawyer. He told me I can call the cops, because it's theft. It's theft. Are you gonna say you got your food or not? Or should I call the cops? Because you're stealing. She doesn't need to say shit. Yeah, yeah, you are stealing. Who does it? Who fucking raised your ass? Who raised you? Seriously. Fucking piece of trash. That's what you are. Trash. Are you the... Are you the manager? Yeah, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle on DoorDash. I DoorDash all day. That's my main source of income. That's all I do. And this girl, I delivered it to her. And then she went on DoorDash and put down the item to deliver it here. So then I, this morning I wake up to go DoorDash and I'm fired. Because of her. Because she said I didn't deliver it. I would never do that. I don't write to her. That's the girl. Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working here. You have thieves working here. Yes. Yeah, that was good. That was awesome. Ooh. I think there's more of that type of, there's more where that came from on the internet. I like that. That felt like justice. How I funny think he, would it be if it was sass? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I guess I got it. Yeah, I don't you know. you got to deny that heavy. I don't Chipotle? know. Chipotle? No. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> you have corn in your teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a wrapper in the trash right there. It's just me standing at my door with my turtle beaches on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> a long shirt and no pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Um, let me do this WWE ad. Oh, yeah. I take a piss. Do we have any new ones to look at? Play WWE 2K23 for free this weekend on Steam from the 3rd to the 7th and on Xbox One or Series XS from the 3rd through the 6th. Only available on Xbox for Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers. The Deluxe Edition will also be on sale from the 2nd to the 16th of August for PlayStations 4 and 5. WWE 2K23 is now on sale for 45% off Standard Edition from now until August 7th on Steam and on Xbox. The Revel with Wyatt DLC Pack is out now featuring Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy along with Blair Davenport, Joe Gacy, Valhalla, and Zeus. Luckily, this DLC is included in the season pass in deluxe slash icon editions of WWE 2K23. And listen to this. Once you are playing 2K23 on stream, looks I think they mean to say Steam right there, on Steam or Xbox, take a screenshot of your character and submit it to the Yak via social platforms with the hashtag Barstool 2K Sweepstakes. The best submission will receive a custom WWE 2K uh, slash Yak Championship belt. Reminder, SummerSlam is this weekend, and WWE 2K23 is also available for free to play on Xbox slash Steam all weekend. So here's everyone's chance to jump into the SummerSlam ring with your own superstar in WWE 2K23. Any more good ones to look at? Those ones yesterday of us were incredible. Oh, who is that? Kate's ex boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yep, yep, that's him. <laughs> that's good. That's gotta be him. Holy shit. Can you pick the briefs? <laughs> looks yeah, like you, you, you can do, do everything in this. Looks like you can pick his underwear. Holy shit. Okay, oh, she's with the hard him. eyes, yeah. yeah. She's definitely loving that guy. She's not joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to check that stuff out on Steam. Full steam ahead. Um, it's maybe a wheel spin. Why not? Man, this was a good time. I enjoyed I myself. laughed hard. Yeah, you guys are funny people. Stop. You are too, Francis. That was really funny. The only thing we'll make Love it funnier of is if that Swedish guy from the show last night was here. Yeah. Funniest guy in New York. He's great. By far. He bar is. none. Have you ever met him? Is he a nice yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, but he's... What's he's he like off the stage? Not dissimilar okay. from his act, but he's he's uh, he refuses to do podcasts. Respect. He's so funny. Because he actually... only wants to do stand-up and does not want to, I guess, c c I don't know, pollute that purity? I, I don't know. I respect it. He doesn't do any podcasts or, like, really any social media. He oh, just does stand-up. I love this guy. I'm not sure. Yeah, I couldn't tell. He's, yeah, I mean, he's unbelievable. 
He's he's opening for like Bert now. Oh wow! He's been, he's been picked up for that Bertie, uh, the whatever the one of those big tours that he's doing. Bert collects openers though. Mm-hmm. That dude's got a fucking Avengers fleet of openers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strong, funny openers. All right, let's spin, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Carbone, come on, Carbone. Oh, sick! It's Carbone now. That's way more fun. We didn't. Try, we didn't get shit. Like, We're not getting shit. This is some bullshit. We haven't gotten absolutely any fucking shit. I've gotten dick. Tomorrow is Shohei Otani Day. Yes, right. Got to get my uniform. Got to go get mine too. Yeah, what are we doing? What uniform that? are you getting? I'm just paying them out. Uh, I'm gonna get. They'll. The MLB store has fucked me in the past. They don't yeah. let you try on, and their sizes are weird. Yep. Fucking weird. I think I'm gonna have to go large. The medium is like a dress on me yep. in the Mets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to get some stuff. So we're going to be having some sake to celebrate Shohei oh. Otani. We're going to maybe celebrate some of the cultural facts about Japan extremely respectfully. And what's the dish? No raising our voice. What about some squid? Sushi? Good squid. Let's some try good squid. squid. Sush? Okay. No, you don't want to try squid? Oh, no, I'm fine. You grimaced. I'm not a big squid guy. I mean, either. Purple. But I don't, I don't, I don't even know that I've ever had it. Let's get a bunch of squid. Or a slime. bunch of squid. Takoyaki. Uh, heaps of squid. I Taco, don't want heaps of squid. I don't want heaps of squid. You don't want heaps of squid. <laughs> <laughs> of squid. I think at the Whole Foods you can buy a whole squid. I don't want heaps. I want to throw it on heaps. Yeah. Squid boy. <laughs> oh, I heard it's really salty. What did you say? Takoyaki. Oh, well, Takoyaki. Fried shrimp it. balls. <laughs> it's a street food. Oh, no, we're getting a fucking squid. Heap of squid. I guess. Have you seen these videos? You just buy every time. Heaps. We're getting buckets of squid yeah, delivered. <laughs> Tubs. Just a pail of squid. That's takoyaki. Fried squid balls. Watch when they flip them. I don't want any squid. That okay. looks fire. That's what I want. Come on. <gasps> Need that. Oh, oh, that looks mid. Finesse. Mid. Mid. Hey, mid? Mid at mid best. Mid is good now. <laughs> no. yeah, mid is the highest compliment now. <laughs> How many do you get? Six? Six takoyakis? Like Seven? Eight? Eight? A bunch. Is there a dipping sauce? They get takoyaki is. I, think you need, I feel like you need a white. Oh, there you go. A little drizzle on top. Some mayo. Yeah, you need to. Ew, dude. I didn't like the, the recoil. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> yes, you do. What? Nasty. Yes, you do. Squid is gross. Yeah, yeah, fuck this. This octopus. Just get some like calamari. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. I, I hate that shit. This is octopus. Whoops. You don't want heaps? <laughs> no, no, not anymore. Come on, they're thick. They, they're so thick. The that doesn't look good to you. I want, I'd rather have um, seaweed salad. All right. Yeah. No, no, no. So no. we gotta go buy jerseys. Yeah. Right after this, I'm gonna walk up to the MLB store. Just get us some hats. Just get me and Taz a hat. <laughs> we'll oh no, anybody can wear an Angels hat. You gotta have the name. <laughs> give me a, a jersey then. I'll, I'll just grab. Just give me two hundred bucks after the show. I'll run up. <laughs> oh. Rent today. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I don't rent. Pay your rent on the second day of the third day of the month. I forgot Pass to pay. That's why I paid it this morning. <laughs> oh, fuck. But you talked about it the day it was due. I know, and then I forgot. Just give me some shit. Oh, look at that! That top right. Cream. I'm gonna go top left, real tight on the waist. <laughs> <laughs> real deep plunging V. Hey, maybe just give me that. Reduced $33 one. But you'll never wear it again. I want to get you something you'll wear a lot. Maybe a signed one. Yeah, maybe give me a $4,000 signed ball. <laughs> I feel like there's got to be a signed ball of him that's less than $4,000. Probably doesn't sign much. Ron, I don't need this. I'll figure out the price. Also, I don't really feel like going up to the MLB store. <laughs> <laughs> no, all that shit you were talking. Yeah, that shit is places far as so hell. Far. <laughs> what is that, 20 blocks from here? That's cool. Yeah, let's just get a couple of those. Can we express those? 44 bucks. Probably not. <laughs> Fuck, Otani Day's going to be a disaster. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. I need heaps of Otani gear. Heaps. <laughs> let's get an MLB rep to get out here and just get us all fitted in office. Or at least the new era folks or fanatics. We got to get Michael Rubin in here to fucking drip us out in some show hay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah, the troops will love that. It's got everything I want. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met Michael Rubin? Ron? He's the guy who had the party <laughs> once. He came into the office. He did? Or our old office. But uh, 
I think he was from like Plymouth meeting. So we talked about the restaurant I used to work at. He was very affable. Plymouth White Marsh. Extremely affable. Yes. Mm-hmm. Plymouth White Marsh High School. You're exactly right. Do they have good wrestling? Uh, They're a powerhouse. Justin and John. They're always a fucking Dodd Myers <laughs> are tough as yeah. all Americans. Guys, what are we even doing here? John's. <laughs> what are we even doing here? This is banana land. It's a goddamn buffet of bits over here. I'm starving. I'm going to go find some food. You are? Show's not over yet, bro. I haven't eaten oh, ain't over. really today. <laughs> you want to walk to K Town with me? Is this where you're going? I'm, well, I walked to K Town. Yeah, I like this new place. You're going to get some bulgogi? Yeah, I got it yesterday. It was very good. Bulgogi beef? Bulgogi Easy. and glass noodles. Let's walk Ooh. to K Town and then let's go up to the MLB store. Perfect. I got 200. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the lot. <laughs> All right, we'll come back tomorrow for Shohei Otani Day, but make sure everybody bring a fact about Japan mm-hmm. or him. And no, no, none of that wishy-washy like nothing you could like find as your first fact. Right, we'll dig. No, making your voice deeper to sound like <laughs> Shogun. <laughs> yeah, nothing like. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wanted an example. I need to know what not to do, like what not to do, or don't do Japanese school girl. No. Oh. No grunting. We will not be grunting. We're going to be, be grunting completely a lot. respectful. Do you guys know anyone Japanese? I know Chinese and Korean people, but oh, I know really they, really, they don't really they don't really come to America. Yeah. <laughs> Probably cuz they got a better There's spot. There's not a lot of like high Japanese population places or neighborhoods in New yeah. York. Like, cuz their whole country is like a blue zone and they live yeah, beautifully in like great. gardens and with respect and they're demure. They have it figured out um but they do need to fix their birth rate issue. Yeah, they dropped eight hundred thousand. They are just declining precipitously because their dicks and pussies are blurry. The majority are. In. <laughs> <laughs> do they need to figure that out? Why do they need to figure that out? Because they're going to have American whole- immigrants coming over to like pick their fucking. <laughs> Who do you think's going to clean your toilets? If you hate Americans so much. <laughs> <laughs> If you hate Americans so much, who's gonna come over and clean? Who's your gonna toilets? make your takiyakis? Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> going to trim your bonsai tree? <laughs> Donald Trump, if you hate the Japanese so much, who do you think's gonna make your takiyakis? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I didn't. Mean, I never mean it like Did that. Did you ever hear Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> no, I never mean it <laughs> like Kelly that. Kelly, know, or I'm sorry, no. Kelly Osborne was like, "He's so good." <laughs> she was like, "If you, Mr. Trump, if you hate Mexicans so much, then who's gonna clean your toilets if you close the borders?" <laughs> Wow. Yeah. It's just like exposing yeah. herself as a... <laughs> How funny would it be if she had a Fousey reaction to that? Uh, no! <laughs> no! Never say that! That was kind of the best thing he could... Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. There was no doubt that he was uh, saw her. Remorseful, yeah. yeah. That comes from years and years of fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> years of saying the N-word. Yeah, you don't he's sing this song. It's, like, it's a constant <laughs> battle every day for yeah. him not to. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. relapsing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've been <Woo>. so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was on. God damn. All right. See you guys All tomorrow. Right. About it. See you tomorrow. Bye.